Well, it, it doesn't seem so. We give the same dose to the mice throughout their old age um, and they're less frail. And we've got early evidence that we've got more mice on the way um, that it extends lifespan. The point is that those mice are not losing their ability to turn NMN into NAD, as far as we can tell. Uh, in the clinical trials, we've done, well, at least a month of treatment. I think we've got, now got some three month data. Uh, over that time frame in humans, NAD levels uh, go up with NMN. If you take a gram or two grams a day, about twofold in the blood and in the blood cells, and they don't come back down. So I, I think, and we've done dogs as well. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't think there's anything to worry about in that regard. What I think is more likely is that we need to time it right because NAD levels are cycling during the day in the circadian rhythm. You don't want to mess up your sleep patterns. That can also apparently age you. Uh, but also we want to know how often do you need to take these NAD boosters. And as far as I know, nobody's tried that even in a mouse to try every other day or two times a week um, just for lack of money and time. But I think those experiments would be great. Is there any uh, clinical trial for MMM in the past few years? I think there are lots of them, but could you please briefly elaborate it? There are lots of them that are being put on the uh, clinicaltrials.org, but um, the trials that I've been affiliated with, NMN being dosed to patients that have Friedreich's ataxia, a rare disease, a neurological mitochondrial disorder, uh, we also have trials in COVID, 30 hospitals, uh, and then also for uh, at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, they're testing uh, muscle endurance and strength. And so those are the trials. We've been doing phase one safety studies for close to three years now in people uh, with uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital group and have had no issues uh, in those patients or those subjects. So that's all I have to report for now, but hopefully in a year from now, I'll have uh, some good news or some bad news to report. Well, we believe there are more and more research and clinical trial on it, and we're looking for good news, not bad news. I'm personally a of this video and the of the channel. I'm going to talk about the Sheikhoukha. Any NMN, resveratrol, metformin, vitamin K2, and TMG منذ شهر مايو لسنة 2020 عندما اكتشفت فيديوهات الدكتور ديفيد سينكلير ونظرا أن الكثير من المشتركين في القناة سألوني عن مكان شراء هذه المكملات قمت بالتواصل مع الشركة التي أشتري منها شخصيا وهي donotage.org وهي شركة معتمدة تم فحص مكوناتها في العديد من المختبرات من حول العالم ولقد أعطوني خصما خاصا بقناتي والخصم هو صحتك ستجد رابط موقع الشركة في صندوق الوصف أراكم في الفيديو المقبل